Hello, I'm Linda Ann at Studio ABC. I'm a video creator for Color Art at ColorArt.com. I'll be painting Indian Corn. Today I'll use the Twinkling H2O's Shimmering Watercolors. You need to wet these before you begin, uh, about 5 to 10 minutes before you're ready to paint with them because they're hard pan watercolors. I'll be using the following colors. Golden Sand, Persimmon, Orange Peel, Mandarin Citrine, Lucky Apple, Black Emerald, and Fern. I like to use a colored pencil to sketch with for my guidelines or my sketch that I do for watercolors because it blends right in with the watercolor and I usually use some color that I know I'm going to pa be painting with. In this case I'm using kind of a yellow-orange colored pencil. It's not a watercolor pencil. I go back and forth. Sometimes I use my watercolor pencils and sometimes I just use regular colored pencils to sketch with. But I'll sketch in some main lines uh, and I may or may not stick with this exact sketch when I get finished. You may not be able to see these very well on screen because I sketch so lightly so that it will blend into the watercolor painting at the end. And sometimes I sketch so lightly that I kind of get lost on where I am and uh, when I'm painting. So I have to be careful about that too. This is very faint, but it's the outline of three ears of corn and I'm going to use that middle ear as my focal point. I'll be working with the pure colors from the uh, container that I've already shown you, but I'll also be mixing some of these colors together to get other colors. So I hope you enjoy watching my techniques and I'm going to just relax into this painting and I'll come back when I need to tell you something.
I felt like this one was a little too crisp and too sharp because I don't want it to be my focal area. The center one will. So I'm taking some water and some colors and putting on top of it uh, to kind of blend it out. And I'll keep going back to this until I push it back into the background a little bit. It has bright colors in it and I like that. But I don't want it to take over and be the focal point. I want it to kind of be blurred out in the background.
Using the black emerald as the base for the ear of corn that's behind the others really makes the others pop out more. Uh, I'm using darker colors behind it and, and then the brighter, lighter colors up above. And that's uh, just a little trick to help you pop it out and give it more emphasis. And again, making the other two ears of corn uh, a little fuzzier, a little more muted together will help pop out your center of interest. I actually prefer the term focal point because when you say center of interest, students will focus on that word center and think that they have to put the focal point right in the center and using the rule of thirds is really a better idea. I didn't necessarily do that on this one, but um, it's not smack dab symmetrical in the center either. So focal points are kind of important in paintings. You don't want everything to look exactly alike. You want your eye to travel around it through the painting, but you don't want it to um, have several places that are fighting, that are in competition for your eye to rest upon. Also, I try to remind students not to worry about whether it's upside down or right side up whenever you're painting. I flip my paintings around all the time. That's the reason I tape them to a board. One of the reasons. Another reason is to keep uh, some of the lighter weight papers, 140 pounds and under, will buckle on you if you don't tape them down. My favorite thing to paint on is 100% cotton, 300-pound uh, watercolor paper, but it's it's kind of pricey. It's kind of expensive, so I don't always paint on that. It pays to buy the best materials. Color art is a the one is the best shimmery watercolor I've ever found. There's others out there, but they aren't like this one. Get the best paper, the best watercolor brushes, and you will see your work improve, especially if you feel like you've ended up uh, in an area where you're not improving, you're not seeing a great deal of improvement in your work, then try new materials.